my god that's gross <laughs> it's got slime all over it <laughs> This is a humanure compost toilet system. It's a very, very basic system. You're using a bucket, in this case, a 20 liter bucket that you build a box or a surround to pop it in, put a toilet seat on top, and you are literally pooping into a bucket. It's that simple. After you poop into the bucket, you then cover it with a mulch. And that's what I wanna make this video about. This is how to use the compost toilet system so that you don't end up with any smell because if you cover it properly there is no smell there is no problem there's no grossness to it subsequent users don't see anything in it, it it's fine it's easy okay so let's say we use the toilet this is gross so I've got a rotten Frankfurt here there we go we've just used the toilet so we've just pooped into the toilet. I've just wiped my fingers with that. And we've used a little bit of toilet paper to cover our business in order to wipe ourselves and you know, we chuck it in there and cover it. So we've just used, just pooped, just toilet papered. You can put toilet paper in a humanure toilet. I don't know why there's a thing out there that says you can't because you absolutely can. Anything organic can go into these toilets. Um, I even use this one for kitchen scraps so you know you want to scrape your plate off instead of having a separate compost bin if it's close enough you can chuck it in here or if you've got some meat that's gone off pop it in there it's totally fine um, these toilets can handle everything organic that you put into it whether you, you you know you go to the toilet you vomit food scraps most of the time the preference is to use a very dense um, cover material like a a nicely composted sawdust where I live I have literally no timber mills within two hour drive for me but I live in a I'm lucky enough to have a backyard that's basically a forest so I've got all the leaf litter in the world and uh, you can see in the toilet there's a lot of leaf litter there I'll give you a handful here just reaching behind me so this is the leaf litter that that you can pick up off the ground. So sometimes I'll do this, sometimes I'll actually mulch tree prunings. So you can see there's a little bit of diosma pruning there. So if I'm using a light fluffy material, you can imagine when that goes down, there's a lot of air gaps in there. A lot of air, a lot of air gaps, a lot of room for the smell to permeate through. So you're gonna need a little bit more if it's light and fluffy, because you're gonna need to cover it. And then once it's nicely covered, Often with the light fluffy stuff, you might have to give it a little bit of a pack. Just to get it packed down nice to hold the smell up. Out. And when you cover it, you make sure that you cover everything. Okay. Alright, so you make sure you cover everything nice. And don't forget when you pee, boys, you're peeing here. You're peeing in the front. So don't forget to cover that spot there too, okay? Because that will smell as well. So make sure you cover everything. Another cover material is the sawdust type material. I don't have any, so I'm going to try to sort of mimic it with this. So this is actually previously composted toilet material. So this has been composting in a pile for 12 to 18 months. And this is how it comes out of the pile. So there's nothing in there that would indicate what it used to be. And that's that's what that's what this turns into. And you put that on your plants and your and your trees or whatever. Um, so I'm going to pretend now that this is a sawdust material. It's quite a lot denser. See, it's a lot finer. That and that works really, really well. To cover I'll show you how I'll just grab the other nicely rotted Frankfurt oh god that's gross <laughs> you can see the slime on it doesn't smell great either so luckily this process covers all the smell okay so we've done our business we've wiped ourselves 
and then we use this cover material so I won't scoop it with my scoop normally I'd have this in a big container and scoop it up but just for the uh, process I can show you this so you tip that in All right. now this is quite dense so it's obviously it's going into a, a pile but you'll get the idea but because it's quite dense make sure you get the P because it's quite dense you don't need a lot of it you don't need you don't need as you can probably use a little bit less than you would with the fluffy material because it's dense there's no air pockets hiding in there that can let the smell through you use less of the dense stuff um, one of the drawbacks of course with that is that when the bucket is full and it's time to empty and you lift the bucket out if it's full of dense stuff it's going to be a lot heavier so if you're going to have trouble lifting a full bucket out you might decide to go with a half bucket and when it gets to half full that's it you're going to consider it finished and you pull that out and pop a new bucket in with the lighter material you're going to use more of the material but you will um, have a lighter bucket at the end you can't use stuff that's obviously not organic um, and don't use stuff too chunky like wood chips is probably not a good idea because they're going to take forever to break down um, you want to use something that's been mulched up so I often use leaf litter or um, mulch see that's a that's probably too big that's that's gone through the mulcher and that was the branch of something it's probably a little bit too big um, but you know things that are branches prunings from the garden run them through a mulcher so they're all fine and that will work no problem whatsoever and if you cover the uh, if you cover it completely and properly there should be no smell I've never had a smell problem unless I've used light material and I haven't quite put enough on and then I just put another scoop or two on and uh, just give it a little you know just put another scoop or two on just give it a little pack down and you're off and running and then there's no smell and you'll know within minutes if there's going to be a smell problem so you can probably hear a fan running at the moment because I do have an exhaust fan in here um, so I apologize for that noise being really annoying but uh, that helps to suck the smell out but you can if you wanted to underneath all of this so underneath up you know in there um, you could actually put a little computer fan if you wanted to that that constantly just drew air um, around from the bucket and as long as it's not airtight around here which in my case it's not um, that'll just constantly draw air across the top of the bucket and away so any smell that's coming out of the bucket would actually end up getting sucked away now let's say for example you get a smoosh on the side I'll try and make a smoosh oh dear look at that so that's your poop it's smooshed on the side if that happens what I just do is I just get a little bit of toilet paper and I just give it a wipe off make it all nice and clean cover the toilet paper obviously and then I can if I need to put a little bit of water in my little bowl here and just give the side of the bucket a wash down it's easy as that sometimes all you do is you come to the toilet to pee and this is a sit down toilet this one so on those particular cases just remember to cover your pee as well so you're going to pee and that front section is going to be a little bit wet very very easy just to cover that up with whatever cover material you decide you're using you just pop a bit of cover material on it and you're done easy peasy usually pee only requires even if it's fluffy it usually only requires one scoop but if you find that it's uh, you know I, I've heard that certain medications make it quite smelly you might just need an extra scoop whatever suits your circumstances that's what you do and you put an extra scoop in if you need now this bucket is getting full obviously girls you probably will never have this problem guys we have bits that hang down so you're sitting on the toilet your bits are going to be hanging down and depending on how distended you are whether it be testicular or penis length there's a chance that you're going to be touching this and that's not a pleasant feeling so you have to work out what works best for you um, as to how high up you go before you decide it's full and change it so girls 
could probably go a little bit higher than this, it probably wouldn't matter. But guys might find that um, you need to be a little bit lower so that your bits don't touch. Because it's not a nice feeling, it's, it's tickly and it's weird. <laughs> a note regarding sawdust. Using kiln dried sawdust straight into the toilet, I've found is not overly not an overly good idea it, it's terrible at blocking the smell and you need a whole heap of it you need to some you probably only get three uses out of your bucket if you're going to use kiln dried sawdust and because it's been kiln dried it's not what we would call bacterially alive there's not a lot of bacteria in it it's going to take a longer time to break down if you absolutely have to use kiln dried sawdust put it into a pile and leave it outside for six to 12 months. Let it start to break down a little bit and then try using it. Sometimes I've used leaf litter that is quite dry. Like this, this lot here is quite dry. The lot previous to that was soaked by rain and it was saturated. Saturated, um, if it's leaf litter or mulch, saturated can be a little bit more difficult to spread evenly. You might need a little bit more of it. Bear in mind, if it's already wet, it's going to also make the bucket heavier, so you may need to adjust depending on the seasons. If you are worried about smell, just get a tissue or a bit of toilet paper, works fine. All right? You just put a few drops of essential oil of your favorite smell and plonk it in the toilet and just leave it on top, don't cover it. So do that after, so you cover the material, then put that on and that just fills the room with a nice smell. And there's nothing offensive to look at when you open the lid, it's just a little bit of toilet paper sitting there. So that works actually quite good. Another thing you'll find, if you are mulching your own prunings, there are some plants that will give a very nice smell. So I find herbs like rosemary, lavender, if you're mulching them up and then putting them into the toilet, they work fantastic. But sometimes you'll get a lot of slaters, slatters, however that's pronounced. You get a lot of little bugs come in from the mulch sometimes and they're running around and they're doing their thing. 99% of the time they won't leave the bucket and they won't leave your um, mulch container that you scoop your mulch out of. But sometimes you might see them running around on the floor. That's, unfortunately, that's a part of nature. I haven't figured out a way to make that stop yet because when I've got the pile sitting outside of all the mulched up material, the bugs just naturally get into it. So sometimes you might see them running around. They don't tend to bother me too much because like I said, it's very rare that they'll actually leave the place of food. So they'll either be in the, in the container where you scoop your mulch from or they'll be in the bucket toilet. Not very often you see them running around. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I will make a video soon on dumping into the pile so that you can get an idea of that process. I highly recommend the Human Newer Handbook. I'll put a link in the description to the Human Newer Handbook. It's extremely valuable information, especially in a time that we're going through right now where our resources are very minimal. We've got water shortages occurring and it just makes no sense to be flushing stuff down the toilet with drinking water when we can do a system like this and then end up with mulch that we can spread on the garden. So this is definitely the way to go if you can manage it.